Hello, so um, it's been a while. So I am kind of maybe planning to start doing YouTube stuff again. Um, I do think YouTube is kind of dead, um, but I think for me the main thing is that I can just use this as some sort of like video diary. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of a drive with me. Right, I'm hoping that's okay. So I've just been an absolute wally and um, I've been driving for like probably like quarter of an hour and I just pulled over to check that it hadn't gone through my FM transmitter and it actually paused my fucking video. So um, I just lost like everything I was chatting about for the last like half an hour. Um, never mind, we move. So um, yeah, how are you guys? So I guess I had a little bit of practice there, um, chat to the camera. Um, now I've actually got to remember what I was talking about um, and kind of recount that to you guys. Um, so um, I honestly, I live in the middle of nowhere, which means I have to drive on these awful, awful roads. And they're, they're like single tracks, so I have to pull over every time a car comes. Um, and there's shit tons of potholes, so I apologize about the video shaking. I also don't think that any of this will be usable because of the shaking, so I kind of apologize, but equally, um, I'm driving alone, so I want someone to chat to, and you guys are who I'm chatting to today. Um, but yeah, no, kind of what I was talking about, so, I mean, the last time, the last time I did a video, I must have been like, what, like 14, 15? Which is a long time ago. Um, I'm 18 now. Um, I thought kind of doing a bit of a drive with me would be kind of a, a bit of a way to showcase that difference. Um, you know, I am 18, I can do loads of like nice things now. Um, I can drink, I can drive, obviously not in combination. Um, so you might be wondering where I'm going. I'm actually going to visit my friend Liberty um, who not going to visit her, I'm going to study with her at Starbucks because um, if you don't know, um, I live in the UK, I'm 18, I'm in my final year of um, sixth form of school um, and I'm sitting my A-levels in May, so all well, my first A-level is psychology um, on the 17th of May, which is not scary at all. Um, so, and this is the Easter holiday, so I've kind of just been a massive hermit these past few weeks, or I say past few weeks, the past week, this has been the first week, um, and just kind of locked myself at home um, and made myself revise. Um, and to be honest, I'm not somebody who's naturally very good at revision, um, but I've actually done really well. I'm quite impressed with myself. Um, I got the app Flora. I don't know if any of you have used that before, but um, it's actually been really helpful. So basically it's like this app and you, you set like a timer. So say you want to revise for like two hours, you set like a two hour timer and then it plants a tree um, and you get like a little reward if you're successful and you do actually study for those two hours or it kills a tree if you don't, which um, I haven't killed any yet. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, no, so just, I feel like it's so weird actually being able to do all these things because you know like I am an adult now I'm not I'm, I'm not a child um, and that's kind of the other thing with YouTube was I just didn't have I don't know whose life is interesting at like 14 or 15 years old but mine definitely wasn't and there definitely wasn't anything really sharing beyond like sit down videos but now I'm you know I'm older I can drive I've got that freedom I do actually have I'd like to say a bit of an interesting life like I can just do these sort of videos where I just like take you places um but yeah no kind of I think the main thing for me with this is I kind of want to do a bit of a video diary like um so obviously this is my last year of school it's the last year before I go away to uni um, and I just, I kind of, I want something to remember them by. So I, you know, along with sharing it with you guys, it's it's kind of kind of an an ode to my final year at home, I guess. Um, 
so kind of on the topic of universities, so I don't think I ever mentioned this when I was actually doing YouTube before, but um, so I've, I've for a while, I think since I was about 15, so maybe a bit after or a bit before I was doing um, my YouTube last, um, I decided that I wanted to pursue medicine um, to hopefully become a doctor. So kind of, um, so if you don't know, for those of you who don't live in the UK, um, you apply through something called UCAS, um, which is, I don't know what it stands for, but it's basically, you get five choices of where you apply to university. For medicine, it's four. So um, I put my four choices in and the deadlines, I think was October. Um, I was really lucky, I got all four interviews. I went to all four of my interviews and um, I managed to get all four offers, which is very good for medicine. Um, obviously medicine is competitive in every country, but in the UK it's like, it's like very competitive. Um, I think it might even be more competitive than Oxbridge for some of their less popular courses, which is like crazy. So I didn't apply to Oxbridge obviously, because I'm not like, I, I'd say I'm smart. I'm not that smart and I'm not crazy. Um, but no, so I got four offers, which is great, but I actually have to get the grades now. Hence, I've been locking myself in my house like a hermit. But so today, really, I think it's kind of got to me that I've, I've not interacted with anybody else but my boyfriend in the last week. Um, so I did kind of need a day out of the house. Um, oh, this is what I mean with uh, stopping for cars in... Uh, these little country roads, or oh, I just had to stop for a big truck thing. Um, yeah, no, but I actually have to get the grades now, which um, is slightly worrying. So for medicine, the standard offer is AAA, so three A's and your A levels. Um, I was actually lucky enough that from Nottingham, I got an offer of AAB, but um, so I do biology, chemistry, and psychology but that B has to be in psychology, which is probably the exam I'm gonna do the best in, which is slightly annoying. Um, but the rest are AAA, um, and my predicted grades are three A stars, which is like, I understand that is very good. Um, right, apologies, I'm just gonna go over a railway crossing here, so this is gonna be like, awful. Oh! I'm, according to my predicted, I should get the grades I need, um, but there's, I always feel there's a bit of like, there's always an air of uncertainty of like, am I actually going to get those grades? Um, so I have been really kind of sweating this past week, trying to catch up, because I, I got kind of into it, or oh, I'm speeding. Um, I kind of got myself into a bit of a, a routine when I was at school, that when I'd have my free periods, I just wouldn't use them to study, and I'd just socialise in them, which, as great as it is, it's not really great if you're trying to get grades for, for medicine. Um, and you can kind of get away with that when you're doing other courses if you don't use free A's, but um, for medicine, I don't think you really can. Um, I'm just gonna go onto the dual carriageway now, so I don't know how this is gonna go. This might be awful. I apologize for the engine noise as well because I've got an old Hyundai i10, 2008 Hyundai i10. And she is a bit, I say he, it's a he. It's, his name's Henry and he's a bit noisy. This always makes me so nervous. Always oh, moved that away from me. Right, I'm literally a minute away from Starbucks now, so I'm not gonna vlog in Starbucks because I feel like that's kind of a bit embarrassing, a tiny bit out of my comfort zone. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a study time lapse or something like that, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm really still annoyed that I, um, I managed to bloody... Um, I thought I was talking to the camera for like 20 minutes and it just wasn't recording because um, my Bluetooth connected to it, which is really embarrassing actually at the time, um, looking back. Right, I'm just going in Starbucks now. Oh. So I'm actually going clubbing tomorrow. That's one of the other things with being 18, is clubbing, drinking, all of that sort of stuff. And I do enjoy clubbing, apart from the fact it's massively expensive. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know. I might take you guys with me. I might take you guys with me. I'm just going to pull up to my friend Liberty now. Ooh! <laughs> so, obviously, I didn't actually film in Starbucks because that would have been mortifying. But um, it's this point here where I realise I forgot my AirPods. I might get um, banned off YouTube. And then I took a little break because that's important, you know? <laughs> mental health and all that shit. Um, I managed to actually get loads of notes done on the psychology, on Liberty attachment, and then I made some Mackie Flashcards just... stuff. Yeah. Managed to jump forward in first gear. Not a win. Expert manoeuvre. <laughs> and she has a stop-start car as well, which doesn't make it any better. Oh, I've put my sunnies on. Right, so I've just finished my Starbucks revision session and I'm we're going to go have a cheeky McDonald's because Liberty works there, so we get employee discounts. It's like a few quid, which is brilliant, because um, I cannot afford um, a McDonald's because I just I spend all my money all the time on the thing. And this is when I'm gonna try and get out and not crash to my friend's car, which is next to me. I actually had, considering I was sat with my friend. Oh! Oh shit, that's my friend! Ah! Oh my god, sorry, that was really dramatic. Oh, it's my friend who works at um Starbucks. I thought I was I thought I was getting beat tax, I was going the wrong way, but it wasn't, it was just my friend. Oh, right. I'm gonna try not to crash. It's actually really warm today. So it's the middle of April and it's actually 17 degrees today. And then it's gonna be 20 degrees tomorrow, which I'm absolutely buzzing for. Might even get the legs out, put some shorts on. I've got my sunnies on. Oh my God, this slip road is so fucking scary. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. It's the shortest slip road ever coming off that from that Starbucks bit. I know, so I actually got a decent amount of work done. Um, I don't know if you can hear me over the road noise because um, I'm on the dual carriageway. But um, I got a decent amount of work done. Um, I got about, I'd say, like an hour and 45 minutes, which is alright. Um, I did some psychology, so um, I did, I managed to make notes on the entire topic of attachment. And I started making some flashcards for it, and then I should be able to finish those when I get home um, and do some chemistry and biology in my life. Um, but something I was thinking about earlier, and just kind of reflecting on, you know, like when I was kind of 14, 15, younger, making YouTube videos, is kind of my struggle then was I just had no money. Because, I mean, I don't come from a rich family, unfortunately. Um, and I was a child, so I didn't have a job. Um, and it's not like anybody was like paying me any money because, you know, I, I come from a, like a single mother who could not afford to like give me ridiculous amounts of pocket money or anything like that. So just when I was like making videos, I was filming on my like awful first generation iPhone SE. Or when I was a bit older, I had a little bit of money and I bought a camera, but the mic was awful on it. Like the second time round, I was doing YouTube and it just, it just never quite works out. But yeah, no, it's nice. Cause I like being able to share this stuff with you guys. Um, and just for me, it's, this is such kind of, I feel like this is such a pivotal year for me. Cause it is, you know, it is really coming of age. Um, and obviously I am 18, so I am an adult. I don't feel like an adult, you know, I haven't got that. Like, I've started to get independent, you know, I can go out, I can drive, stuff like that, but obviously I still live at home. So this is kind of my last year at home. And I think really fundamentally, I talked about it a little bit before, but I, I do want to kind of document that. And so I, I have something to look over. Um, so again, I do think YouTube is kind of dead, but equally, like, it's, it's, you know, I want this to be for enjoyment rather than just like views or, and I'm not making money on this because I don't have the watch hours to be monetized or anything like that. But, um, I mean, I might put my like PayPal link in my bio or something like that, just cause you know, like why not? But um, apart from that. So just uh, thinking back like over the past week. Um, so I don't know if you guys have watched Heartstopper 
I definitely have. I absolutely love it. One of my favourite shows of all time. I was a massive fan of the books before it came out because my friend Gracie introduced me to them. Um, and then when I found out they were making the TV series, I was absolutely buzzing. Um, but I don't know if any of you guys have seen this week, um, but they announced that Olivia Coleman isn't going to be coming back. And I'm so, so sad about it. Like, genuinely, I'm so sad about it. I don't know what you guys think about it, if you've kind of watched Heartstopper or you've watched Heartstopper, but I'm absolutely devastated. She was honestly one of my favourite characters, definitely my favourite side character by far. Um, absolutely devoted, but... And I do think, like, with shows like Heartstopper, thinking back to when I was, like, younger, I feel like my generation was kind of the start of like things kind of changing in terms of media representation with gay people but like even when I was younger I still didn't have things like that I think the closest I had when I was around like 11, 12-ish was Love, Simon um, but even then that has its issues I feel like and don't get me wrong Heartstopper isn't perfect but it's it just makes such a nice change for the sort of stuff kind of I grew up watching and the representation I saw of, of kind of people like me because um, I find like a lot of gay media is so depressing like somebody dies or somebody gets ill and dies or you know like it's just not kind of it's just not kind of nice like Heartstopper and obviously it's not I don't really get people saying like it's this well obviously they haven't read the books so if you've read the books you'll know that things do get a bit deeper in the in the later seasons but like for the most part it's just it's a healthy it's a nice relationship there isn't some weird age or like power dynamic and i think that's what's so refreshing about it um but yeah no big heart song a fan um apart from that really i just don't think i watch netflix i feel like honestly a levels have got that much of a hold on me that i just don't have the time to watch anything. I feel like 100% of my life at the moment is kind of dedicated to schoolwork or recovering from doing schoolwork. Like if I'm not doing revision, I'm recovering from revision and I just don't have like the mental energy to watch anything. Um, and also I just don't think there's anything that's really caught my eye recently on TV. Um, I'm kind of waiting for Heartstopper season three. That's my main thing. I'll definitely watch that, but that's coming out in October. So I've got kind of a couple of months um, until that comes out. Just pulling up to McDonald's now. I have been absolutely awful recently. I went to McDonald's yesterday for lunch because I took a little break from studying um, and I went to the range and uh, Tesco because I ran out of paper. Um, so I went with my boyfriend to McDonald's and because he also works at McDonald's so he gets employee discount. Um, Oh, what's happening here? Bloody Range Rover drivers, I'm telling you. Actual bane of my existence. Oh God, it's really busy. It's mega, mega busy. It's a massive queue, which is not fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get parked, so that's going to be a challenge. I just thought that guy was going to crash into me then. Um, now I've been awful at the moment. Genuinely, I've had, like, honestly, not necessarily this week, but last week, I must have had McDonald's like four times that week or something. I'm at like, it's not healthy at all. Um, and the other thing is just with like revision and stuff. So before I, I was like revising, um, like I was going to the gym and stuff, like not anything like crazy. I'm not like a gym rat. Um, I mean, look at me, I'm not being funny. I don't look like a gym rat, but um, it was kind of nice to have that, to have a bit of a hobby. Cause I do feel like I just don't have hobbies anymore. I just do work. Um, but now that I'm revising, I just don't have the time or like the energy. That's the thing. Like even when I do have the time, I just don't have the energy. And I think that's really difficult kind of because you want to maintain like a good balance between like school or work or whatever. Um, and I don't work a part time job. Um, I used to. So last year I worked for a year at a supermarket and that's really good. Saved up lots of money and um, bought this car with it, even though it's a shit box. It gets me from A to B. Um, but just even even just revising with no job, I feel like it's so difficult to kind of maintain that balance between doing a healthy amount of work and still doing stuff for yourself. 
like I feel like I always end up focusing on one or the other so like I haven't been to the gym in so long which is like a shame and I want to get back into it because I found that really enjoyable for like my mental health and stuff um which is always good and I could say I've got a hobby because I feel like when you do get older you just I feel like me especially I don't I don't know about you guys but I just I feel like at some point I just stopped having hobbies um which is weird, like, because, you know, when you meet somebody, you want to, like, what do you even say? Like, like I don't know, I do schoolwork 24-7, that's so fucking boring, or I go out, like, I feel like that's all I do. I do schoolwork, and then maybe I go out on the weekends and go, like, clubbing or go to Spoons or whatever. Speaking of clubbing, um, I'll, I'll talk you through the plans for tomorrow. I may or may not film it. Not actually in the club, I'm not just going to whip my fucking phone out, because that's, like, very embarrassing. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll like take some quick sneaky videos and do like a little voiceover thing if you think you guys would like that. But um, so I think we're going to go to Spoons. I think there's quite a lot of us coming out. So we're going to go to Spoons. Always start off in Spoons. Can't beat Spoons. Cheap drinks, etc. Um, and the one near me, I don't know about you guys. So um, it's quite a big one. Um, and it has a dance floor on it. And they actually play music. Um, and usually, like, it's the same sort of stuff. It's nothing like, it's never like good, good music, but I'd say it's fairly good. Like, it's quite enjoyable, you know? And you're only doing it before the clubs anyway. You're not really there for the music. You're there for the tre cheap drinks, but, um, and then we usually, so I live in Norwich, um, so not like the most active um, nightlife, but we do have like um, the one club that is kind of decent. Or, oh, he's nicked my space, fucker. There's kind of two clubs that are kind of decent, um, and that's the gay one, which is Loft, big up the Loft. Um, and Bar and Beyond, which is, it's got good music and stuff. It's not great, because you do get, a, it does attract a certain type of person, but you do get, right, I've been really naughty and parked on stripy white lines, because there's literally no other spaces, but I, never mind, it's fine. McDonald's, they're not going to arrest me, but right, I'm going to go into McDonald's now. I'll see you in a bit. Is that uh, that's going to get me cancelled? Yeah, this is my cancellation vlog. Libs get smart cancelled. Right, James Charles, drama get an apology. <laughs> right, I think that's, I think that's fucking, I can't lie, it's a bit toasty, I'm going to have to open a window. I am a bit, a bit heated. What the fuck is going on in this car? What is babe doing? It is bare active, right. These are actively hot. Oh, hello? Right, we're doing a bit of a mukbang because we've got our McDonald's. Well, let me see if it's recording. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good, that was a good. That was a good little method, actually. We got mukbang mackies. Mukbang mackies. I don't really know what to say, though. No. Have you got liberty? Got to give a bit of a lunch with you. Chippies. And a triple. I've actually never had a triple before. First Can't time. Lie. It looks a bit... Um, so... I thought presentation. Overall, <laughs> I've got six nuggets, six nugget meal, and a medium diet coke. I'm having to make my fucking burger myself. I might as well clock in. I cannot have Coke Zero. You don't like Coke Zero? Because it's fucking rank. Coke Zero is the only Coke that I like. I hate Coke Zero. I have to have diet. These are bloody hot. Who's hot? No, these are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's hot though. Yeah. Why is Mackie so active today? I don't know. I think it's because it's a it's summer holidays and it's warm. It's not summer holidays. Holidays. It's the holidays. It's the holidays. We'll get ahead of ourselves. We haven't done that in a yet. God, this is like Zoella Marcus Butler. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Living our Zoella. Oh, my Zoella? Yeah. And I'm Mark Butler. Well, no, are not Mark Marcus Butler. No, <laughs> no, the other one, the gay one. Oh. Mark Ferris. Mark Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Ferris. This is, this is warm. I've never had this before. Please test. <laughs> Active penalty. Trust. I need to actually stop talking about Jumbo G. He gets the Python. So guys, what are your thoughts on the General G HS Tiki Toki car crash? Do you think it was real? No. I heard that apparently he bought a wrecked McLaren. I and heard that, that, but where the fuck are you getting that from? I don't know. Auction? Auction house? eBay? If you're buying wrecked cars, you have too much money there, I can't lie. 
It was cringe. Guys, do you think we should start a podcast? Um, Comments, no. Comments, no. Should we do a TikTok live? <laughs> we did a TikTok live once, right? At college. During lunch, in my car. Um, and Liberty, we went on uh, a... Uh, like a, what do you call it? Like duet? A duet? Do you call it a duet? Something like that, with these like straight road men. Who um, wore ballys? In, in ballys, balaclavas, and they called Liberty a pork pie, so we haven't done one since. <laughs> and ours. <laughs> and ours. I was like, babe, you haven't even shown your face, no face, no case. I think they were down bad though, I can't know. Yeah. I think they wanted you. They were trying to They were trying to flirt. <clears throat> they were trying to move to you. Believe this, guys. McDonald's car park, they're active. It was the place to be. Give a like on this video if we should do a vlog in Bar and Beyond. Yeah, vlog, Bar and Beyond, vlog, clubbing, vlog, spoons. It's been so long that I've actually been on YouTube. I can't remember what is and what isn't allowed. Mm. Like, I don't know, because on TikTok you genuinely cannot show anything. Like, if you show alcohol, video gets banned. Like, if you mm. show, like, if you imply alcohol, video gets banned. Like, nicotine, video gets banned. So, yeah. I don't know what is actually. Allowed. No, I think you can drink, but you just can't show the alcohol. Like right? you can't show a bottle of vodka. It is all legal, so in theory, YouTube should be alright with that. Are you impressed? I hoovered my car the other day. Well, I've just dropped a chip in it, so. Fuck. You might have to whack out that hoover again. Hattie I need to out. really hoover my car. Just get Katie Hattie out again. <laughs> do you have a Hattie Hoover? I do. No, give me fucking <laughs> suicide. Those fucking hoovers. Petition to fucking boot them down the cliff because they're so no, high. No, I fucking love Henry no. and Hetty. They're no. so good. They're literally the goat. They're so One good. One time it fell down the stairs and fucking like knocked me out. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Got knocked out by Henry. Henry's knocked me out. I couldn't hack it. Honestly, it was like not active. It really fucking hurts when it hits your shin. <laughs> no, I love it. They're so like. No. I mean, quite a good value as well. They're only like 100, 150. And they like quite good suction on them. No, mine lost its suction. It smelled of dog hair. <laughs> so, Henry got. Actually, no, Henry's. I think we still got Henry. Can't. I might have to add an end the end the mukbang there, guys, because I reckon my phone's gonna get a bit toasty. <laughs> Overheating. It's gonna over fucking heat. So. The mukbang was no penalty. Trust. Overall rating. Ten ten. Yeah. Whoop. I should say. Not too bad. Gotta do our winning sips. Oh shit. Right. Yes. Shit. So if you guys haven't, it's like McDonald's Monopoly, except it's just like winning. Fuck! Wins. But you can. I didn't win anything. But you can you can mm, stick them in I on the app and you sometimes get. I'll give it to me and I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it later. Right, that is Mackie's complete. I've said goodbye to Liberty. And now I'm making my getaway. Ooh. I have a really love-hate relationship with driving because as much as it is nice to have the freedom, and sometimes it's a bit therapeutic, the majority of the time, it is the most stressful experience. In being a country bumpkin, because um, I do live in the middle of fucking nowhere, um, I genuinely, I'm so scared of big roads. Like genuinely so scared of big roads. And my definition of big road is like a dual carriageway with a roundabout. What's he doing? Whoa! That was a bit scary. Oh my god, I was on a hill and that was so embarrassing. I had to rev so hard. Taken out my phone out of its case to stick it on the like the, the mount. And I've just got my greasy fingerprints all over it. So I've got fingerprints all over my phone. Um Oh yeah, I'm filming this on my iPhone. I'm filming this, I've got an iPhone 13. And I think from looking at it, I've had a little look and they look mostly okay, I wanna say. Um, which I'm happy with. I actually do have a decent phone now. Like, as I said, I used to have like an iPhone SE and I used to film on that and not even like second ge generation iPhone SE. I used to have like one of those little like iPhone 5S wannabe first gen iPhone SEs for the longest time. I think I had it for about like five years or like four years four years I, that's probably more correct but i genuinely the amount of grief i got in secondary school for having an iphone se was unmatched genuinely right done successful i haven't crashed 
you know, the amount of grief you used to get in secondary school for having like a phone or, and then worse than that, worse than having an iPhone SE, after I had my iPhone SE, I got an Android, I got a Google Pixel, the amount of bullying I got for having an Android. People who've never had an Android in secondary school never understand the struggle of being an Android warrior. I was a Pixel queen through and through and I would not hear anybody telling me that their iPhone was better. I always, I stood by my Pixel, even though it was shit. It was all right, I had, I had a Google Pixel 3a, and you know what? For the price, it was actually decent. Oh, oh I didn't let that go out the slip road. Oh. It was like, probably like, I wanna say 350 pound or 250 pound. And you know what, for the price, it lasted me a good two years. Decent enough phone for an Android. Um, obviously not an iPhone 13 or anything, um, but there you go. So I genuinely do not know if any of this is interesting at all, um, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun just for me to kind of like chat to you guys like this, um, chat a bunch of shit, really. Again, I don't really know what's allowed on YouTube, but I've not done this in so long. Like, am I allowed to swear? Am I allowed to, like, what am I genuinely allowed to do? Am I allowed to swear? Am I allowed to drink? I think you are allowed to swear, but I think it has to be like, you can't swear much. Not that I'm, I'm not fucking monetized anyway, so like, I don't think it really matters. So there's a really strange smell in my car right now, and I don't know whether it's about to blow up. If this car, if anything with this car goes wrong, I cannot afford to fix it and I will not be driving anymore. So there's always that little, like, there's always a little part of my mind, just that little nagging anxiousness um, of having a shitbox. But I do love, I love my car. I genuinely love it. I told you guys this earlier. Um, his name's Henry, Henry the Hyundai i10. And it's done me fairly well so far. I bought him for 1,500, which, is a decent amount. Um, I kind of I bought it at a time when used cars were really expensive. I think I could probably get something better for my money now. And when I actually bought it, obviously I couldn't drive. I was learning to drive still, so I didn't actually test drive it. My mum did, and she didn't notice. But the clutch was awful. It was so bad. So I had to get that done, and that cost me like five hundred pounds of repairs. So honestly, if anything else goes wrong with the car, I've had it probably. I've had it since December, so I've had it what like five january february march april like five months now no 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 i've had it since june i've had it since june i passed in december so i've been driving for five months but i've been driving this car for like nine months now so i think if anything major was going to go wrong on it it would have been before now but who knows but i i don't know if you guys like this sort of format of like videos i don't know if you enjoy it um, let me know if you like this format just because it's easy for me to do because I'll just do it when I'm like going places. I also might do like uh, ones at college where I could do it at like when I'm driving to go get food at like lunch and stuff. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in, if you want to hear me waffle for another few hours. But this is easy for me to do and I quite enjoy it because I mean, I get bored when I'm driving on my own, so it's kind of like I'm, I, I've got somebody else in the car because I'm just kind of chatting to you guys. So I can't remember if I said, but I'm making my way home now. Um, and oh, I'm gonna try and get another few hours done once I get home. Am I gonna actually do that? It's debatable. Um, I'm gonna overtake this truck, it's going really slow. Something else that I also said I was gonna do this year was I set a target to read like 50 books. I've read like two so far, both in the same week, so I've kind of fallen a bit behind on that. Um, one of the books I read though that was, was absolutely incredible, I'm a bit behind the trend on this actually, because I think this was released like a few years ago and people were talking about it a few years ago, but it's called Young Mungo and it's, I don't know how to best describe it, it's about um, a young like Glaswegian like boy growing up in, in working class Glasgow. I, I want to say it's set in like the 70s or the 80s. I think it's the 80s it's set in. I'm not completely sure. I think it's set in the 80s. Um, but that, honestly, if you get the chance to read that book, absolutely do. It's incredible. I honestly, I cried so much reading that book. It's not like a light read. 
if you want something you can just kind of pick up and read like on the beach or something maybe that's not your sort of thing but um, like if you want a good book and, and, and kind of a, a gay book as well which I know is really sad but honestly um, I lose interest if I don't kind of share some similarity with a character so in this case you know it's kind of like coming in coming of age as um, like a like a, a gay teenager um, but it is absolutely heart-wrenching absolutely if you get the chance to read it do so the other book I read was called Alex in Wonderland and I can't remember who that was by I can't remember who the other one was by either I apologize but um, it's called Alex in Wonderland I, again I think this book's been out for a few years but I haven't read it um, I recently discovered that you could get so it depends on the library but my local library service they have they, there's an app where you can you can borrow ebooks, um, and I kind of have a love hate relationship with ebooks because they're definitely not as good as reading an actual book. But I am pretty much busy for the entire time that um, for the entire time that the library's closed. I'm usually usually at college or like doing stuff. Um, so it's just I just I don't often find the time to go down to a library. So, which is why I kind of never had a library card before. And reading's expensive. It's like, I mean, you're, you're paying minimum, like, five pounds for a book. And if you want to read, I mean, say I was reading, like, 50 books a year or something. Like, that's a lot of money. It's like, what, five pounds per book? That's 250 pounds a year. Which, so, you know, if you can, like, take up library books and stuff, obviously it's not the same as owning it. If I really like a book, I will buy it. Because there's just something about owning, like, something like that. Um, can borrow ebooks from your library on this app and it's it's like it's so good and it's just it means that you know it, like if I want to read something um, I can just do it I don't have to go down to the library I don't have to get there for certain opening hours like it just makes it really easy um, which is quite nice oh god that was rough I'm a fucking awful driver Genuinely, I'm so bad, and I don't think talking to a camera helps. Um, if I crash, at least I'll have it on camera. Alex in Wonderland. Um, I also thought that was a really good book. Um, I want to say the guy who wrote it is called Simon something. Oh, right. This is one of the wonders of living in the middle of nowhere: is you get random tractors stopping and reversing in the middle of the road. So that's what I'm currently do doing right now. I'm stopped for a tractor who is reversing ooh, 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 ooh. that is so scary I honestly I hate big vehicles because like, I have this tiny little car <laughs> and it's so intimidating because they're just like leering over you I also won't be surprised if my phone overheats doing this um, because it is really sunny right now and I have got it on charge and I am filming um, so fingers crossed it doesn't if it does then I guess I've, um, I guess I've wasted like half an hour. Back to what I was saying before, a fucking tractor stopped in front of me. Um, Alex in Wonderland, honestly, is a very good book. And I can't remember the name of the author. I want to say it begins with like, I want to say it's like Simon something, maybe? Maybe Simon, probably not. Apologies if not. But um, really, genuinely a very good book. And I read something by him before and I, re I didn't really like it. Um, I think it's called um, Noah Can't Even. I, like, I really wasn't a fan of it, so I was kind of a bit apprehensive, but I'd heard good things about this book. Right, I'm going back over a railway crossing. I was a bit, like, apprehensive before reading it. Like, is this really going to be worth it? But I read it, and it was actually really good. So, um, kind of kudos to him, because I think it... it I think he's definitely like grown sort of as an author, which was kind of nice to see because I did really enjoy that book. Apologies if you aren't interested in books whatsoever because I've just rambled on for like 20 minutes about books. Maybe not 20, that's a bit excessive. Maybe like a few minutes. Right, we're back on the country roads. So it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit wobbly. So A, apologies if you can hear that. And B, um, it's probably a bit shaky. God, these potholes, I'm telling you, are absolutely massive. Just a bit of a wheel spin there on the gravel, which is slightly awkward. But sort of with these videos as well, um, I want them to be a bit longer. So I used to make like videos that kind of sat around like 10 minutes, that sort of thing, where I'd sit down and do like 
I don't even know what I do. I just do like random shit, honestly. Um, but I want these to be kind of something you can more like just put the background. Like I don't expect you to actively listen to me because I'm just spouting absolute shit. But oh, you stopped for me. That's very kind. If you are just like sat in bed or, or I don't know, I wouldn't say doing revision because I'll probably distract you. But if you're not doing much, if you want to put something on in the background, I don't know, if you're scrolling through TikTok or social media, like, I want this to be kind of something you can put in the background, that sort of idea. Also, I just want to share with you, um, I was going to do it when I was parked at McDonald's, but I forgot. Um, my kind of, like, latest obsession is, like, older digital cameras. Um, and I think part of that stems from just what, like, growing up, like, I was a very odd child in that I was obsessed with, like, cameras and stuff like that. Um, and obviously when you're a child, you're not going to be trusted with, like, a few hundred pound digital cameras. But now that they're old, um, obviously they're not expensive anymore. So, you know, um, like, if I want to pick up a digital camera, I just can, like an older one. Um, but so I've kind of been, like, playing with, around with those recently and I know they've had a bit of like a, a resurgence um but no I've had like I've had like a lot of fun with them like and it's nice kind of going like I know I keep bring like bringing up going out and stuff but like going on a night out or something and just like all going and doing something um and just bringing like a digital camera with you like I just I don't really know I just don't think there's really anything like it um but no, I've, I've, I think I've really kind of like seen the, them having a bit of a resurgence just because, you know, there's part of like, like young Mark, I think he's, I think he's quite happy. My car is making some really questionable sounds, which is slightly concerning. But um, there you go, there goes that constant anxiety again. Yeah, no, I think I'm probably going to end it there just because... I just don't think I have much more to say to you guys. I think I've kind of exhausted um, my rant for today. But um, let me know if you like this kind of style of videos because I've quite enjoyed making it, to be honest. Um, and it's it's just been nice to have kind of somebody to chat to while I'm driving, if that makes sense, even though there's nobody there. Um, but um, I definitely have to introduce you to my boyfriend, I think. Um, might do a bit of a vlog going clubbing tomorrow, potentially. If I don't end up making one, um, then it's obviously because it wasn't particularly interesting. But yeah, no, I think I'll end it there. But um, I've really enjoyed this. Um, potentially making a return to YouTube. I'm not like 100% sure I will, but um, I do think it'd be fun. Um, I hope this is vaguely entertaining. Again, I don't know if it will be, but um, I might make more. But um, yeah, no, so if I make another one, um, I'll see you guys soon, I guess. Bye.